Hey there, Gemini. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of uh, November 13th. This week, definitely check out AstroJar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's get started here. It's been an interesting week, to say the least. And uh, it, that that continues for you. Pretty crazy week. Um, you start off with the Four of Clubs, which is... Um, I have a feeling the Four of Clubs is just going to keep coming up for the month of November. There's this weird retrograde energy uh, going on uh, right now. I literally said the same thing to um, said the same thing to Aries because um, they didn't have the Four of Clubs, but they had the Eight of Clubs, which is basically the same thing. And uh, even today, I'm shooting these on November sixth, and uh, the internet is down uh, at the time of me shooting these. Basically, the whole internet, right? Facebook is down, and people are losing their minds at the moment. And uh, yeah, there's been some like huge attack on the internet or. Xfinity or Comcast or somebody like that. Uh, so there's like crazy outages. Like I said at, on, in the November bonus reading, I kind of said that there was going to be some weird retrograde stuff going on, even though there isn't a retrograde. And lo and behold, uh, this is what we are dealing with. So uh, yeah, just pay attention. I'd say just, uh, you know, I wouldn't worry about it. It doesn't feel like something we need to worry about. So um, I would just say that, you know, pay attention to all the paperwork you're signing and all of that other stuff. Next, you have the Ten of Spades. Major changes going on for you, I would say. Um, I don't feel like this means anything other than that for you this week. I feel like it's just talking about major, undergoing major changes uh, at this time in your life or just seeing major changes, having sudden realizations and things like that. I know we're kind of in a weird time. I, I think that whenever we get to these points where major planets are going to be switching signs or whenever we've come off of like a bunch of planets switching signs um you know again jupiter just recently switched signs at the end of the year we have saturn going into capricorn and you know all this other stuff whenever we have these weird like in between times where things are switching i think it's just especially with the big planets i think it's just uh natural for us to undergo changes and even i mean, I mean these could be like super minor changes like you know us you know deciding uh to change our diets or something like that so i think a lot of you could just be experiencing you know kind of these types of changes uh next you have the ace of spades same thing uh just changes uh ace of spades ten of spades basically the same card now uh, this card is a little bit different because it does represent overcoming obstacles so i do think that a lot of you will be finding solutions to problems at this time you know i think it's definitely uh, could be a good thing for you this card also represents cutting things out of your life, making these types of changes where you uh, cut things out so that you can become more efficient. I think that's the name of the game. You know, now that that just came out, uh, I think that efficiency is going to become very important in the near future. People who are able to focus on what's important and get rid of all the other stuff are, are kind of going to be more successful in, in you know, over probably the next few years, it feels like. And um, yeah, this message has been coming up. And again, I don't think I've been able to verbalize it until now. So... Um, yeah, that's what I would focus on is efficiency. Next, you have the five of diamonds, uh, starting something new. And again, by the way, I mean, Gemini super efficient sign. So that makes perfect sense that Gemini would be, you know, coming up with better systems. I've talked about it before, not to drag this video out or anything, but you know, Gemini, um, the Joker card in the, uh, deck is the superpowers of Gemini basically, which is being able to find the most efficient way to do something. So again, it makes perfect sense. And again, five of diamonds doing things in a new way. I mean, plain and simple. So, yeah, that's what I think this card means. Also, amazing card for money, making more money, seeing, ra getting raises, promotions, things like that. Uh, amazing card for selling something. If you're trying to sell a home or anything like that, uh, definitely a great card for you. Next, we have the Nine of Diamonds. Nine of Diamonds. Uh, starting something new. Uh, I always say this is my card of newness. Definitely, I mean, definitely like a ton of rebirth stuff. This card is even called the Coffin in the Lenormand card reading system. You have like three... Um, of the death cards, it all all up it all up in your reading here. So uh, definitely a lot of changes, and I would say positive changes because nine of diamonds to me represents like raising up, going up, seeing uh, very positive upward type changes in your life. And finally, in with the king of diamonds again, just uh, probably very positive financial changes. I also think that a lot of Gemini's could be focused on like where you are putting your money, like where you want to put your money finding safe ways to invest your money like all this stuff comes up i even said it to taurus because they they got kind of like a similar message about money i think that over like probably the next eight years or so there will be a great focus on like where people put their money how they invest it how they deal with it all this other stuff comes up um and it's going to be different for everybody i don't think there's going to be one right answer i do think that's going to be the difference um 
in the future is like i think that there could be um you know people will have like multiple ways of dealing with their money they'll all be different but they'll all probably work they'll all probably be right and i think people just need to decide like what they want to do uh and that's what this card is kind of saying so again very interesting crazy weird week uh so you know be ready for it this week i would say but it looks good it looks positive so i would just say go with the flow and enjoy the positive changes so thank you for watching and enjoy your week